What's in the bag? This is from, okay, Amazon. What have we got here, Fluffy? Wow, that was simpler than usual. Let's see if there's a message. Uh, bah, bah, bah. I hope Fluffy and Smokey both like the balls. Now, there's no balls in here. Uh, enjoy the t-shirt and sticker. And I was happy to hear Fluffy enjoyed the antler bone. Peace out, man. Peace out, men, from uh, Habin. And I hope I didn't have his whole name in there. If not, I'm gonna have to edit it out. Because knowing this camera, it probably totally picked up on that. Uh, I think this is Joker related. Heath Ledger's Joker. Which ironically, I didn't like at the time, but then it grew on me over time, weirdly enough. Get to work, Fluff, investigate. Oh, it's actual stickers. Okay, let's see what we got here. And we got uh, Heath Ledger's face and another Joker-like thing. Make better content, they said. He tried, no one watched. End of story. Why so serious? Each shit. Uh, probably shouldn't rip that off, but fuck it, it's not like I'm saying. This is a very thin shirt. It's like see-through, dude. I'll show my nipples to the ladies. They love that. The girls love it. Actually, I'm gonna have a chick wear this. That's the move to make. Uh, dye supplemented print. Each item is uniquely hand printed in the USA. Well, I like that. I like things made in the USA, despite our government being totally retarded. I guess I brought this on to myself. The dog now believes everything is for her. Okay, let's go, Fluffy, what'd you find? God damn it, Fluffy, you flipped it the wrong way. What's this? All right, Fluffy, there we go. What you got out? Okay, good work, Fluffy. I believe these are from a dude I talked to in emails who said he could make me a leather uh, armband. I said, have at it. And he certainly did. They're thinner than I thought they would be. But let's see what they say. Uh, this one is RX-93 New Gundam. Personal favorite. What have we got here? This one has a more Native American feel. I could probably wear a couple of these. What have we got here? RX-0, so I would say that is Unicorn, right? Let's try one of these on. So we'll go with black because black goes with everything. Oh, we gotta give a plug. Ziggity Zooks. Oh boy, that wasn't, look at that. Uh, what does it say? White Wolf Emporium, I believe. Oh, crap. There's real names on there. I'll give a link to his Facebook and email address if you're interested in contacting him to have a customized armband. This isn't the only thing he does. He actually does a lot of cool stuff. I assume this would be bigger, but hey, whatever. No big whoop, right? It's definitely leather. Would you like to read a letter, Fluffy? Hey, Gunnam, I think these are a good fit for you. If not, oh well, screw it. They're free. <laughs> screw you, they're free. Sorry, let's do it again. I think these are a good fit for you. If not, oh well, screw you, they're free. Thank you, sir. That's honest salesmanship right there. In any case, hope all's going well enough behind the scenes. I greatly enjoyed binging your content since I found you. Keep up the good stuff. And don't let the social media disease kill you through its power of absolute cringe. And it's already too late for that. I'm the walking dead. From the Midwest with some Minnesota. Nice. What's this? What is this? Fluffy, that's my microphone pop filter. Damn it, dog. Well, thank you, White Wolf Imperium, for sending the stuff. We'll make sure that people see what you have on offer. Let's leave that right there. Oh, look at that bag. This box had some interesting stickers on it. Other organisms. Uh, uh, what looks to be a cross. One thing that says hell is coming. The last thing I need. We got a t-shirt. Oh fuck, I forgot to read the name on it. It says hell is coming. 
Um, I believe this could be a shirt brand. I don't fully know. And the dog is in the way. Get down, you. Is hell really coming or is it already here? That's the questions. You tell me. Jake Paul and Logan Paul are rich and I'm scrounging for money. Whoops. Let's see. Gundam. Went with a medium instead of a small because I like to err on the side of caution. And I can't bear the thought of other... None looking at you. It looks like none. It could be men. Who the hell knows? It's all cotton, so you can shrink it. Printed it myself. The guy on the devil sticker is Zuckerberg. Where is that? Must be one of these. Ah, oh, Zuck the Cuck. So are you telling me that Zuckerberg's the devil? I would think he'd come back and be cooler than that. I mean, that would be my move. But then, who am I to know what's going on in the ether? I had some marble swimsuit issues for 25 years. Thought you might find them amusing. Give me a shout on Instagram if you feel so inclined. Not looking for a plug, just maybe good dick jokes. Well, let's see here. These are classics. You don't get stuff like this from Marvel Comics no more. That's just plain and simple, dude. You will never see this again. Look, 1992. Ah, what a bygone year. I don't know or remember shit from 92. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it was less retarded than today. You know what? Why not? Let's see what's in this classic piece of Marvel history. I love the size of the plastic wrap. It's for magazines and such. I think Golden Age comics were this big. Let's take a look at this. Maybe I'll get it graded. Uh, not exactly as... Okay, now we're talking. Classic Marvel, baby. Cloak and Dagger. I think that's uh, Daredevil and Elektra. Off the top of my head. Norman Osborn, obviously. Silver Sable. This is what Silver Sable used to look like. Not that frumpy chick in the Spider-Man games. These two chicks, don't know. Probably in like... Nope, don't know him either. Is that Spider-Woman? I'm gonna draw a blank here. Looks like Jean Grey. Yeah, they don't do this anymore, that's for sure. Yeah, this would be considered very problematic. Right now, we're experiencing problematic content. How could Marvel, god damn, remember when She-Hawk was hot? Jesus Christ. Now you look at She-Hawk, and she looks like the Hawk with a ponytail. Ugh, the Psylocke. I wonder Cyclops had like an affair with her, am I right? Oh, this is totally classic. The X-Men, okay, enough of this. It's just damn depressing. <laughs> it just, it is. It's like a time capsule. It's like, wow, Marvel did stuff that was interesting some time ago, long, long ago. Oh, you dirt, I hate masking tape with a passion. I have to be careful so I don't rip the pages. There we go. I have to show this to Nerd Roddick. Zuckerberg Satan stickers. Not quite sure what I'll do with these, but I'm sure an opportunity will present itself for me to meme. You want a ball, Fluffy? They're from Heaven. No one, Fluffy, should just rip the fuzz off the tennis ball. Oh, good luck ripping that one, dog. Good luck with that little fluff. I think she's gonna go for it. Let's see what happens. Bite it, Fluffy. She's interacting. Well, that's the end of that. Well, Habin, it was worth a shot, but Fluffy's very picky. Oh, we got 8%. This one is from Jerry in Japan. Uh, he offered to help me get some crap, and I said, Hell yeah, Tangu Warrior fucking beef jerky. Sponsor me, you fuckers. This is the best beef jerky I've ever had in my life. Fluffy loves Tangu. She loves it so much, she damn near killed herself to get to the bed. <laughs> oh, what is this? It's a green Kit Kat. 
You could totally tell this is from Japan. Only Japan would have green Kit Kats. What else we got here? What is this, chicken feet? Dog, get out the way. Oh, it's octopus bits. You know, I was, I told him I was interested in like the dried octopus pieces because they're delicious. This, I don't know about. That's wild. I'm gonna give it to the dog, see what she thinks. And the dog will eat it, I could, it's, it's like a chicken foot, I think. Or it's chicken guts. No, wait. It's some other form of octopus? Dude, this is wild. It's a taste of Japan. It's like I've gone to Japan without actually going. I think these are normal Kit Kats because they're brown. There's PTS on the back. Ah, can't flip these for cash. What have we got here? Um, fuck, I really should learn some Japanese, honest to God. Like, I'm literally probably gonna eat all of these and haven't got a clue what the fuck any of it says. I'm like, squiggle lines, picture of shrimp, little duck man food. Oh, ho, 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 the jerky of life, baby. Oh, I'm gonna get Tangu to sponsor me. Uh, as they say in Japan, it is psycho. I'm not joking, they say that. Whoops. Get out of here, Zuckerberg, fuck off. What's this one? Pink Kit Kats. Wow. Japan has like all these colors for Kit Kats. It's like kind of cool. Cause it's like, I've never seen a pink Kit Kat before. I feel cultured. What about this one? Some sort of strawberries. Weird, what's this one? Little chops of oranges? Huh, what do you think, Fluffy? Yeah, we'll check it out. What else is in the bag? Oh, grapes. Yum, yum, you can't have any, that'll kill you. At least I think it will, I'm not like a thousand percent sure. And last but not least, sweet peaches. Um, Fluffy, you're in the way. You're killing the shot, dear. Thank you. You're not getting any beef jerky yet. We have to go through the box. How much time we got left? 2%? You're shitting in my biscuits, bro. Ugh. Get her open. There we go. Is this it? What I have been waiting for. The special edition of Young Animal Berserk with uh, the tribute to Kentaro Miura. I fucking got one. You know, uh, I wish that I could have gotten something signed by Kentaro Miura. It was something that was on my bucket list to do, but I didn't expect him to die, you know? It's kind of like, yeah, I'm gonna get something signed by Kentaro Miura. That's gonna be my move. And now it'll never fucking happen. And if someone were to like fake me out, I wouldn't know if they're lying or not, because how am I supposed to know a real handwriting or not? Jerry decided to be an absolute legend and sent two. So that means I have one I can actually look through and use my phone to Google Translate. And I have another one that I will never open. And then when I get old and if I have a kid, they'll be going through my shit and they'll go, wow, dad kept complete garbage. What a fruit. He had drawings of buff dudes. <laughs> Mom was right, he was closeted. Thank you, Jerry. You've gone be above and beyond. Like this, Tangu beef jerky, octopus tentacles that I would bother a girlfriend had uh oh. The battery's out. We gotta do a swap, Jerry. I remember when viewers told me to get a P.O. box and I thought they were crazy. But it's moments like these where you just, I'm grateful to have it, honestly. Because I probably would have never been able to get this otherwise. Unless like I went on flea bay and got fleeced by scalpers like, okay, you want this book? Uh, Nandatol. Only 150,000 yen, Gaijin. 
And I'm like, here's my money, please. Wang, have mercy. What's this? What is this? Looks like cigarettes. And that's, oh wait, no, it's candy. Menji. I think it says that. Oh, it, Fluffy, honey, you really gotta stop just falling over and clotheslining yourself. Uh, oh, can't read this one, there's no English. Uh, it looks like milk chocolate. I think there's rice in it. Does that look like rice to you? I think there's rice. What do you think, Fluffy? Could be nuts that look like rice. It's Japan, after all. They like to reinvent the wheel. Another piece of menji. I believe I'm saying it correctly. Oh, black chocolate. Ugh. <laughs> Nothing personal, it's just I hate black chocolate. Uh, Fran. Original chocolate and double chocolate. Um, they look like chocolate sticks that you bite and chew and you suck on and they're succulent and you put them in your mouth and roll them all over your tongue. Let me rub that dog. What is this? Hopefully, oh, that's right, I forgot to pay a bill. And the motherfuckers call me and they're like, you're late on your bill. Oh, eat me, I'm a day late. You have never not gotten your money. What is this? Move your head, doggy. Oh, these are those cat treats that Smokey didn't really eat, but Fluffy loves them. Fluffy absolutely adores these. I don't know what they are though. Chow? It's a very beautiful cat on the front. It's a very photogenic cat. I mean, realistically, if I had a cat that looked like that, I would push it into modeling too. Unfortunately, Smokey is very scruffy looking. So nobody really wanna see Smokey in anything except for like, you know, a movie where there's like a shitty looking cat in an alley. And you're like, oh my God, it's a bad neighborhood. Look at the state of the cats. I should get Smokey in acting. What is this? Oh, these are some sort of dog treat. I don't understand a fucking thing it says. That could mean 40 calories. Probably not. But at least it has like a timestamp that I can understand. It's either bad in July or it's bad in like March or May or something. Oh, it has a little carrying top. I wonder why would you need that? If you get your head out the way, dog, I can open it for you. Let's go, Fluffy. Time for a taste of Japan. What's, what, it's all sticky. What is this? What? It's juice. Dude, Japan is crazy. If you move out the way, I can open it for you. Should clean the table first, but you know, you eat shit, so I don't think like a smudgy table's gonna bother you one bit. Give it a shot, Fluff. Ew. What do you think? Your loyalty is never questioned. Never. See, you don't need to clean when you have a dog. That's what makes them awesome. Look, Fluffy, I made a mess. Go work, Fluffy. Like, it looks like white snot or like cream. Kind of making me hungry because like, it smells like human food. That's how you can trick dogs in eating stuff. Chicken tuna recipe. I can't read that part because it's not in English. Caution, do not let dog chew or swallow package. Who would, this is in English. <laughs> For a minute there, I was like, I understand Japanese. Finally, all that time of weeping has paid off. This is a big win, dude. I'm gonna put the rest in the dog's bowl. Come Fluffy. I forgot I have a wireless mic now so people can hear me putting this in the dog's bowl. It's like the truest interaction. Welcome to my kitchen. It's a fucking mess, don't judge me. All right, then don't eat it. You know, it's cool, you know, eat it in your own time, Fluffy. I'm not, I'm not gonna like stress you over it. You know, it's your life, enjoy it. You don't want it, I'll clean it up later and that's that.
I think that's everything in the box, except for one last, is that you, Fluffy? Oh, I forgot I have a clear desk. And now for the best piece of the action. Zoom out, please. The RG New Gundam. You have no idea how hard it is to get this kit in Japan and then have it get to America and not pay $160 for it. The dude just saved my balls in the sense of this will probably get me a lot of views. People really love this kit. They're going absolutely insane for it. Oh, bloody hell, I just realized like, uh, They don't have worse slide decals for this. This isn't that big. Hmm. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Good work, doggy. Interesting. Full inner frame is basically a miniature master grade. Yeah, it's gonna take a bit of work, a bit more than I assumed, to like get it painted quickly. Hmm. So uh, tune into my paint channel where it'll take me a month to paint this. Once again, Jerry, thank you very much. Fantastic box. This thing was packed to the brim with awesome shit from beginning to end. The dude answered the call of duty as they say. I don't know. I can't think of a great compliment to give them for sending me stuff to everybody, frankly. This, I'm gonna probably put on my wall maybe, or maybe I'll have them graded. I wonder if they'd be worth anything if I did. Cause it is classic Marvel. Like this'll never happen again. This is over. It's so over, it's not even funny. Now it's not attractively painted women, gorgeous superhero chicks. No, now it's women that look like men. And if you don't like it, you're a misogynist and a bigot. Thank you to everybody. Um, I don't know when you'll see this because it's currently the 20th of September now. So uh, yeah, could happen most likely around December is when you'll see this video. <laughs> and I'll pretend it's like a Christmas special. Now it's time for something unprompted. Can't see. Really should get a monitor. Oh, damn it, dog. Our first bit of delicious merch. Look at that. It crinkles with the best of them, baby. Look at that. Is that not gorgeous? Does that not tickle your tummy? That's right. Official t-shirts. You probably don't want one. First off, we've got this one from... It's upside down, dog. Learn how to read. Thanks always for awesome content, dude. Next time I'll send snacks. Tokyo Sam. Okay, Tokyo Sam you can look up on YouTube. He has a channel. He rides around and complains about things. Similar to me, except he's in Japan. This is the Berserk message to Kentaro Miura, or Miura Kentaro. Um, I can only go through some of it because surprisingly, it's full of stuff like this. <laughs> Suburashi. Ah, mizite murate, mahoroshi deska. I mean, look at this cool berserk stuff. Basically, I think uh, for the rest of us in America, you're gonna need to pull out your Google Translate because I think it tells stories about Kentaro Mura and uh, moments in his life where he must have touched and inspired people that worked with him. And uh, yeah, that's the best way I could put it because uh, I can't read it. But it does come with this very sweet, gigantic poster that I'm gonna try not to ruin. And I should have put on rubber gloves so I don't put my fingerprints on it. But uh, uh, there we go. This is from that classic moment in Berserk where Guts teams up with Zod to defeat like an apostate. This is frame worthy. Let's put that, and the other side is uh, key moments from Berserk. Sorry you can't see very well, but uh, 
If you knew how I was craning my neck to get this into shots, dude. Fluffy's sitting here like, okay, so when do the snacks begin? So thank you very much, Tokyo Sam. I'm not gonna show you the inside of it because it's all pornography. Well, it's not all pornography, but there's a lot of it in there. Like I was going through it, looking for more Berserk stuff. And I'm just like, this is hentai. It's hentai. This one came from Uzi Vlate, I believe. Now, nah, hold on, Fluff. Give me a second here. Fluffy, move. Fluffy, I can't see. Fluffy. What is this? It looks like food of some kind. What is this? Schwaller? How do you pronounce this? Wait, there's not food in this, damn it. <laughs> I was like, is this some sort of fancy ice cream from Romania? These look like a uh, Horrocco, Ho Rockley, I believe. I think the little plants symbolize vanilla. This one's peanuts. I don't know. I don't know what I'm looking at. That's edible. What's this? Oh, tuna. Oh, somebody's a comedian. God damn it with the tuna memes. What's this? Slaco. Um, yeah, I don't know, Fluffy. Is this like supposed to be like a canned cake or something? Really need a camera person. No clue. It's not good. Enough packaged tuna will make you sick. Entry gate Gundam package in an ice cream box. Sunk in the sunk in polyurethane and partially disassembled. The instructions are in the box too. My very first kit. A few custom lines writing, so feel free to either top coat or just customize it. A la Bob. Oh. A la Bob is a Gunpla Ross. Uh, I had to stop making that joke. Copyrights, infringements, and cease and desist. I'm not kidding. <laughs> it should be the same stuff my sister made. Should also arrive in emails to Silly Mark. Oh, I can't even really pronounce that. Let's see. Please don't let height bullshit get to you. You're fucking badass. I don't know, the height thing doesn't get to me, but it's funny if I, you know, pretend to give a damn, which I probably shouldn't say in the video because it ruins comedic authenticity. If you need my return address, feel free. All right, with, I think this is the guy and his sister drew me some sort of uh, 3D art. I could call them NFTs and I should sell them for money. Uh, I haven't had time to keep up with a lot of emails. And when I say keep up, I mean email. Some I can read, some I'll read and go, oh, I'll reply to this. And then, you know, it just gets lost in the sauce. Let's see what we got here. Blast effects, a leg. What are you doing, doc? Another leg. Uh, the head's got to be in here somewhere. That'd be actually funny if uh, the head wasn't in here. It'd give me a pretty good laugh. Hey, Fluff, what you doing? This is my life. I have to check everything a small dog does. I guess dogs are like for people who want to test out to see if they're capable of being a parent. Now, let's see what we got here. Yeah, it's definitely an entry grade. I was never really a fan of entry grades. I'm a Gundam, a Gumpla snob, let's be real here. Oh, I see what he did. He drew on the Earth Federation stuff because entry grades don't come with uh, decals. They should have said something. I could have uh, had some water slides sent to you at this scale, which would be 144th scale. I think he drew a line at the center. I'm not quite sure why, or is that like glued together? Yes, it's glued together. I'm actually analyzing his work. <laughs> I shouldn't be. But I think this is broken, right? Or was this custom made by him specifically, which I think it was. It's some sort of plastic or something. You know what? He did a decent job because at first glance, I didn't assume, I just believe this came with it. And he tried to create details. Let me zoom in. He tried to create details by doing it all freehand, which is an admirable thing to do because it's not simple. Um, I'm pretty sure he doesn't have scribing tools or anything like that, which uh, 
you know, if you need some, maybe I can hook you up with a couple, dude. Yeah, you got my email. Hopefully I find it. But I will keep this since it was made for me. Please, not everyone do this. I have enough of these kits. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> don't like start sending me. Oh no, he doesn't stand. Like, don't start sending me your finished Gunpla. I, have, I don't have space for the finished kits I have. I don't even know if I should show you, but I'm pretty sure most people that follow me have seen my work. You know, blah, blah, blah. The usual BS. Let's zoom in here. That was actually very creative. Even though I believe, was the beam saber red? Yes, the beam saber is red on the Gundam. How come the entry grade doesn't give him a shield? That doesn't make sense. The RX-78 without a shield? Wait, I think it does. Here we go. And yeah, ba 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 ba. Hmm. I'll be damned, I don't think they give you a shield. That's weird. No, I see a shield right here. No blaster and shield. Shameful. I'm gonna have to deduct points from that because a Gundam should always have a shield. Well, thank you, Mark. Even though I know it's supposed to be like Matt Hack. Machiel, I, I can't get it right. This here. All right, Fluff, we gotta be careful because it says it's made of glass. All right, Philly, what you got here? We got a note. I live for notes. It's a Gundam. Thank you. Thank you for all the laughs. Seriously, hope this helps with the, I believe, cancer. I picked these babies out of my collection as a thanks. I know you ride, so hope you enjoy these uh, books in your own personal collection or sell them when it's right. Uh, get two packs of tuna. God damn it with the tuna. <laughs> thanks for the red pill humor. Glad I'm not alone or the crazy one. Keep living, Phil. Red pill humor, there's a phrase. I might be able to do something with that. Let's see, if it's from motorcycle stuff, I wonder what it could be. It's a fucking graded comic book? Are you shitting on me, dude? Holy fuck, Fluffy, you almost fell over. Dude, fucking Ghost Rider. Like, this is classic ass old school Ghost Rider. I mean, it's still Johnny Blaze. Dude, this is that Morbius at the top? I can't tell. Nah, that can't be Morbius. Dude, that's crazy. Comics graded, bro. A 9.2. This is sick shit. That is fucking sick. Dude, he even has a plastic thing on the outside. When I buy these comics, nobody does that. Let's you know this dude is fucking serious. I have to be careful now. Another fucking classic Ghost Rider, a 9.4. Dude, like a comic book in this, this has gotta be like Silver Era, I would say. In this state, fucking thanks, Phil. I like, uh, I wanna put these on the wall, you know? I really do. These are fucking great. This is direct edition, for those who don't know. Wait, direct edition or new stand edition? Stupid brain. And direct editions have Spider-Man logos. For some reason, the new Stan ones are worth a little bit more. I never really understood the logistics of it, but I didn't question it. Oh, these are great. I have to show these off to people. Fucking killer. Ghost Rider is a total classic. I need to read his comic books again. It has been so long since I've read a Ghost Rider comic. I almost bought um, World War Hulk, where Hulk is fighting Ghost Rider. I don't know why I didn't. Probably because I bought a couple World War Hulk comics because I'm an asshole. <laughs> Dude, thanks a lot, Phil. This is hot stuff. It's like, it's such good shape. 9.2 and 9.4. I am ecstatic. Getting comics in that shape is rare. And on top of that, the higher up it goes, the more expensive. So a 9.2 or something could save you literally hundreds or thousands of dollars versus like a 9.6 or higher. I don't even think I've ever seen a 10 in my life, even in a picture, but I could be wrong. 
Pizza Kit Kat? What? Bro, what? Dude. For some reason I'm excited, it's probably because I'm hungry. We've got orange chocolate Kit Kat. Like, how do they make the orange more chocolatey tasting? Is this actually cheese flavored or is it like chocolate cheese? I don't know. It does this, it probably says so on here. I can't read this. Tangu Warrior Beef Jerky. My personal favorite beef jerky in all the world right now. Oh, fucking A, dude. These things. I don't know what they're called. I call them Japanese snacks. They're delicious. Bro, it's like striking pay dirt. More beef jerky, thank God. Oh, sweet. These look good. Almond chocolate. At least that I can read. I think he actually sent me an entry grade Gundam. Kind of ironic. Um, let's see. Yeah, maybe it doesn't come with a shield. That would shock the hell out of me. Because it shows a picture with one. So maybe I'll build this and send it to the uh, guy who sent me his entry grade. That could be an interesting swap. Fuck yeah, squid bits, dude. Now, I know you probably look at this and go, ugh, looks disgusting. Trust me, you eat one, before you know it, you ate the whole bag. I don't know what they do, but I think the Japanese like roll the squids in crack. Tango beef jerky, big wins. A different version of the same one. Hey, works for me. Subarashi. We might have to like go through this and cut out me check. What's this? Dude, it's dog treats. Look at this. I'm, I'm like a kid or something. It's like Christmas from Japan. Dude, this looks delicious. It's all in one treat. The Japanese mix multiple dog treats into one little square. Fluffy doesn't seem that excited. All right, let's try one. Fluffy tends to like Japanese snacks, ironically, right? Oh yeah, Fluffy's eating it. Fluffy's a fucking weeb. <laughs> the dog's a total weeb. That's how you can tell I own this dog. <laughs> she enjoys Japanese snacks as well. Give her something made in America, she turns up her nose. Like, oh God, American snacks? No. Aren't these great, Fluff? They look awesome. Oh, we found Fluffy's new favorite treat. Jerry, you are amazing. You've somehow picked things my dog will eat. You have no idea how many times I give the dog a treat and she just, won't eat them. Then my mother tells me my dog is bougie. More of these, delicious. Now let's find stuff up. Oh, cat treats for Smokey. Fluffy will most likely eat these. Let's be real. Let's drop it there for now. This dude set me up with some serious squid bits. I'm gonna eat the shit out of these. What do we got here? It's a Gundam cup. Now let's double check. It is indeed. Oh, it's got a Zaku on it. Didn't see that coming. I saw a Gundam on the side. Hmm. Hey, whatever. I'm gonna take this out and display it somewhere. I'm probably not even on camera. Forgive me. This is why I need a camera person. The dog is just waiting for her next treat. Oh, what's this? That looks like a happy dog on it. Doggy snack. Well, at least I can read that. Cat donut. I'd be surprised if Smokey ate these. Right, let's try a doggy snack. Oh, it isn't Ziploc though. So if I open it, it's kind of open. Unless they're individually wrapped, which I assume could be the case because the Japanese are very thorough. No, that's not a snack. But this is... Oh yeah, Fluffy's taking it, man. Dude, it's the first time ever Fluffy has eaten every treat I've opened thus far. It's unprecedented. 
you're probably only supposed to have one, but fuck it. Let's, uh, let's indulge ourselves, Fluffy. I earned it. Crunchy bits. I think these are human. Oh, hmm. Looks good. Dude, this guy packed this thing with treats galore. The entry grade, uh, what is this thing? Strike Gundam. I think it's a clear kit. This is probably like one of those Gundam prize kits that like uh, you have to win, you just can't buy, I think. So I'm pretty sure there's probably someone who knows what this is and they're yelling in the video that I'm an idiot. Oh, here's the sweet stuff. Some Gundam base stuff, uh, I don't know. It's uh, probably something you win from a drawing, am I right? That's an interesting smell. These are actually cool, to be real. Like sometimes the Gundam box art is just so legit, it makes no sense that Bandai hasn't turned them into like some sort of posters or portrait that you could have. And frankly, I probably would put these in a frame. What is this? Yeah, this is totally cool. I'm gonna frame these, why not? Fuck it. I'll frame them. Wait, does it come with stickers too? Cool, I can now show what a weeb I am by putting the king of hearts on my ass. Okay, that's kind of cool. It is, like this is some serious Gundam swag. I'm gonna have to show this off on Gundam Twitter and see how people react and tell me exactly what I have on my hands. And then they'll secretly call me a piece of shit behind my back. Oh wait, there's more cups? I'm checking to see if there's any drugs. Oh, this is the new Gundam. Dude, how much stuff did you win? Like he said he's gonna send me some of the stuff he won from the Gundam things, but I didn't know he won this much stuff. We got another cup here. This one looks to be the unicorn. It's sad that I can actually look at the silhouette of a mobile suit and know what it is. There's only, <laughs> the only thing I could like look at and identify is probably a motorcycle. What is this? It's an SD new Gundam. Oh yes, this is a prize, see? It's a prize F. Uh, you can like win prizes from 7-Elevens in Japan. What have we got here? What's this? Um, Ninjoma Herbal Candy? Interesting. It would help if I could read this to understand what does it herbally do. A bit more candy. I've already shown that. What's this? This is the 1144 scale Gundam factory. Is this the Yokohama one? Yes. The Yokohama, Yokohama, Yokohama Gundam RX-70 with the entire base? What? Did they actually pack that in a 1144 scale? I would be surprised. And some sort of sticker or a winnings thingy. Hmm. Well, I guess they did. Hot diggity damn. This, believe it or not, has not come to America yet. It will be here at some point. When, I do not know fully. And I think that's the end of the box. Ugh. I wonder if I missed anything. I think there's supposed to be like a resin head somewhere but I don't see it. Oh well, that's life. This I probably won't build because I think it's actually rarely printed these. Well, that should do it for now. Today's, 
Not so much a fail box, this box is full of wind, dude. Ugh. Oh, wow. We've got one that's a, oh. Can't even see a damn thing. You're in the way, Fluff. Good work, Fluffy. Um, cute dog. It's sealed with a wax stamp. Uh, let's get out the blade. Oh, wow, I almost cut the letter. Actually, can I take this off without breaking the seat? Yeah. At least I can edit this out. Well, ironically, it already came kind of ripped up. So, Fluffy. All right, there. All right, Fluffy, you tell me what it says. Uh, it's from MLK Avenue. Hmm. Let's see what we go here. I would say this is from a woman. Or a man that's very effeminate because this is the new world. Dear Gundam, the more I watch your videos, the more I love your personality. You have so many talents. Look at that. Ha ha, Mr. Sexy wins again. Oh Christ, still edit that part out. Now, let's see. Uh, the more I watch your videos, the more I love your personality. You have so many talents and it's such a joy to get to see you use them. From music to painting to game playing. Oh, I'm pretty bad at games these days. The only game I really play now is the uh, editing videos game and I'm not even good at that. Uh, la, 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 la. Playing games in your hilarious yet deeply insightful commentary on so many different things in depth of your mind is just a, oh, the depths of your mind is just a wonder to witness. On top of all that, I see you in a feast for the eyes. And the second I get a six pack abs again, baby, I'm gonna be taking all sorts of pictures of myself laid out on the floor without a shirt on. I would be like pro Jared. I just can't look away. I watch your videos as soon as I wake up and I'm laughing all the way to work. You work so hard. I hope you realize just how impactful your life is and how important you are it's so much deeper than what you give people but because you're you sincerely uh her name got kind of cut up a bit i didn't cut this leak somebody kind of opened it at the post office and i see a t and an i and an a we're gonna go with tyra maybe i wonder if this is tyra banks oh boy <laughs> I can quit YouTube off of Tyra's money. Is Tyra Banks still rich? Well, thank you very much. I will keep this letter and I will most likely keep this letter and then flash it to my ex-girlfriend to show her what she missed out on. I was considered a man at that age. All right, I'm not gonna give you the monologue from Interview of a Vampire, but I will read your messages, CJ, because you sent some huge ones. Actually, I read the letter and learned that I'm not supposed to read it on camera. So I can't show you. Oh, we'll talk about the love later, later, actually. This one feels like a box. And here comes Fluffy. Perfect timing, dog. Perfect timing. It's from Japan E-Trade? What is this? It looks like an Escaflone. It is an Escaflone. Is this a model? I don't know. It's from the Good Smile Company, right? I've heard of them. Beep, bop, boop. Uh, you're my man, Gunnam. Love you and what you stand for. I don't stand for much. I stand for, I guess, myself. Common sense? A good laugh. And that's just about it. I've reached a point now where I realized, you know... Life is full of shit. You get older, your friends die or abandon you, and uh, the world goes crazy. And I'm just gonna tell you from experience, it was never this crazy. It's like the last five years feels like 50 years have passed. And I can't even begin to tell you how sorry I feel for anyone growing up in this day and age, especially young guys. Like, you're screwed. You're gonna have no fun growing up. Oh, whatever. Now, let's see. I never watched Gunna, but I've seen your Gunpla. It's like a shitty Bob Ross of a deal. Anyway, this kit may shit, but 
you'll make it work. Thanks anyway. From uh, Hobbin. Oh, Christ. I might have to edit this because I think he put his whole name there. How dare you, Hobbin. Also, I am legally obligated to make no distinctions between me and Mr. Ross because I was sent a cease and desist order. So please do not mention Mr. Ross around me. <laughs> Sue Hobbin. Is this actually a kit? It is a kit. Ain't that a bitch? But it looks kind of like a kit that's... Yeah, it's like a Bandai kit. In the sense of it's already colored plastic. Now, here's the thing. Escaflone, I never really cared that much for it. But my sister absolutely loved Escaflone growing up. We're not really that close. You know, um... She's a bit of a dick, <laughs> to, to put it lightly. But you know what? Maybe I might do something stupid. Like, let me see the other side of the cape. Because the inside of the cape is... Oh, so the outside of the cape, they put like a fabric on it. Which is weird. But in the pictures, it does not look like that's fabric. Like the inside looks like fabric, not the outside. Is that correct? Maybe it's just like the plastic is in the way of my vision. Let me cut this open. Dramatically trying to, whoop. Get out of daddy's way. Let's see what we're dealing with here. I even remember the fucking theme song for this. Escaflone. <laughs> I did not like that anime. But I have an idea. And I thank you for sending this, Hobbin, because uh, there's no way in hell I would have ever come across this otherwise. Maybe I might just paint this goofy thing. Nothing against you, dude. And then maybe give it to my sister or something. She might actually like that. Maybe. I don't know. Like, between you and me, most likely I could see myself painting this, giving it to her, and then she would, like, just be, like, nonchalant about it. Like, oh, thanks. Kind of vibe. And then I would become resentful, like, my God. I give kits to random people online and they're happy to get it. You, on the other hand, act as if I farted in a box and gave it to you. But you know, that's my struggle. All right, Fluffy, calm down. Don't choke yourself. Oh, uh-oh, this might be sexual. It's classic comic books. Oh, now we're talking. Classic Captain America. Cyborg. Oh, the new Titans, now that's old. What's this? Creatures, this is totally out of nowhere. The Submariner, this is way old Submariner. This is like when he used to wear that original costume that he doesn't wear anymore. Iron Man, Tale of the Titans. Fluffy, you're in the way. Fluffy. Exo Mono Wars. That one I don't know. It must be a 90s comic. Oh, classic Spider-Man. Oh, but it's been butchered. Someone cut this part out. Oh, man. This would have been, like, amazing. Admittedly, I'm a Spider-Man fan. I try not to talk too much about my love for comics because the comic book industry sucks so bad that... You know, it's like, I hope no one minds me saying this, but the MCU has really killed a lot of my love for comics. Guest star in the Human Torch. This is awesome. Do you know how old this is? It's like, I hate this lighting in here. It's older than me like by three or four times. It's like insane to even see this classic version of Spider-Man. Is that like the Ditko version? Conan the Barbarian. Now there's a classic. Back when uh, you could still have attractive women on your cover. This is sweet shit. 
someone just like plunking down a ton of classic comic books. And I'm not even bothered by it. I don't know, I just love the old comic books. What we got here, World's Finest, how old is this? Holy shit. Someone wrote 1967. Bro, this is crazy old. Crisis on Infinite Earths? I didn't know it happened that many times. Oh, Incredible Hulk, but this is Grey Hulk. Is it Grey Hulk the smart one? Oh, the light is in the way. I am so sorry. Tale of the Titans, we skip uh, most DC. Wait, is that Nightwing? Oh, the amazing Spider-Man, Red Skull. These are the good years of Spider-Man. Oh wait, that's when Peter Parker's parents like came back. I don't remember what happened. This is during the Clone Saga. So odds are they could have been clones. Spoiler alert. Superman, action, whoa, what an old action comic. Wow. I never thought I'd own any action comic. And this one seems to be in great shape. Don't worry, they're probably worth nothing. Yeah, you know, there's probably people like, why would you send him this stuff? Don't worry, most of these are probably worth absolutely nothing. I'm not rich. I have to say thank you, dude. Oh, we got a message here. Glad to see the last batch of comments made it safe. Secret Wars number eight, except found another batch when cleaning up that you may enjoy being mostly Marvel Comics. I got most of the comics back during the Raimi Spider-Man days and they've been in storage since. Figured they should go to someone who will appreciate them more. Thanks for the great content, Brent. Please keep spreading the lore of Chris Chan. <laughs> I need to get on a Chris Chan video. I have been like dragging my feet on it for so long. I even have somebody willing to work on it with me. This is Ben Riley Spider-Man. What's this thing in here? Well, we're not going to open it because it's originally sealed. Uh, what happened? Didn't Spider-Man get his back broken around this time and then Ben Riley took over? Or was it like they tricked Peter Parker into believing he was the fake and Ben Riley was the real Spider-Man? And then Ben Riley was Spider-Man for a bit and I think they killed him off? I'm not 100% sure. It got kind of wacky at that point. And even now, I'm not even going to bother getting into like comic book stuff. Marvel Triple Action, 20 cents. This is old stuff. Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver, back when they looked like Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver. Look at this stuff. This is insane. It's insane. That these are even like in my hands, really. Oh, Silver Surfer. Needless to say, Silver Surfer is like one of my favorite Marvel characters who I think is tremendously underappreciated, the Galactic Philosopher. I've been trying to get a Silver Surfer number one, number two, three, four, etc., for years. And then that, oh, I remember this. This is an iconic Superman cover. I'm gonna keep that. Uh, let me go back to the Silver Surfer thing. And then uh, what was that stupid show that came out? Uh, the Marvel MCU show with Scarlet Witch and Vision whatever that came out right and all of a sudden people started buying comic books again like old ones and i finally had the money to buy silver surfer number one like something like a grade 7.0 or something and now you can't move something a 7.0 for less than four thousand dollars thanks mcu go fuck yourself <laughs> fuck you mcu so that's why i hate the mcu i've wanted those comps for years man i'm gonna get them though Wait, is that like, is that Red Skull cross with Mordok or Mordor? Mordor, I can't even say the guy's name. Oh, the Spidey Ham. Talk about a classic right there. I should say this, uh, enjoy Superman while you can because I'm hearing DC is gonna kill him off. So that like the new bisexual Superman becomes their Superman just in case because like these characters are coming up for, uh, you know, Superman, Spider-Man, uh, Doctor Strange, etc., to where the family members of the people who created them can sue Marvel and DC to get them back. And I think they're trying to cover their bases by having these sort of imitation characters, you know, Miles Morales, gay Superboy.
They're just uh, Gundam patches. It's a Gundam patches, I should say. Um, as always, they'll go to Patreons. So by the time you see this, they'll probably be gone. Who knows? Maybe they won't be. And before anybody goes, why don't you give them away on your YouTube channel? Because it's easier to give them away to patrons. It's easier to get a hold of people. It's easier to get people's names and addresses and ship them out without any BS or extra crap in the middle. You know, my day is full of BS. I want to limit my BS as much as humanly possible. Go work, Fluffy. You're the greatest. Look at her go. Look at her go. Good dog. You are a good dog. Let's see if I can get copywritten for Huey Lewis music. Sorry if the lighting seems pretty shitty. Um, I'm going through this pretty quickly and I didn't feel like setting up a bunch of lights. This one comes from Amazon Fulfillment and Fluffy is demanded to get inside the box. <clears throat> I forgot to bring water in here. I'm not quite sure what this would be. It feels like a book. Uh, what? Yeah, that's to me. Uh, let's see, the Gaiden Chronicles? Memories or memoirs of a machine. Hmm. Why would a machine have memoirs? But I guess it's a fantasy novel. Looks a little bit like Smoke or Noob Sabat from Mortal Kombat. A thousand year journey, humanity expansion into the universe. A tale of empires forged, colonies lost, entire worlds ultimately reborn again. All seen through the eyes of a machine. Alexa hears people getting into disputes all the time. Husbands and mothers slapping each other around while the child cries in the background, all while Jeff Bezos records it. Now that's a memoir I'd like. Oh, and the police are getting those, so if you got an Alexa in your house, you might want, might want to rethink that. Uh, first chapter, science fiction epic series. It's centering around Gideon. Probably that's how it is. A robot who was unwittingly thrust into the conflicts of his creator while searching for his own true purpose and greater sense of meaning in the cosmos beyond. <clears throat> okay, so the machine is sentient and it wants to find meaning, which in and of itself would seem almost illogical because the machine is programmed. But once again, we're saying this, this machine is probably like data from like Star Trek, the next generation. I'm not sure who sent it to me. It could be from Taylor himself. And if so, the fact that you didn't bother to sign this, sir, that's a big no-no in my book. I have more people who write books and send me their books, but they never send me a signed copy. I guess that way you could deny sending me the book if, you know, being associated with me ever got you canceled. I didn't send him that. It wasn't me. Right, just go ahead, Fluffy. It's, it's your world. You done? You finished yet? Okay, that's a no. Did you find anything? <clears throat> I really shouldn't have drank soda before doing this. That was like stupid on my part. Wait, it's a Funko Pop. Of Rose Tico? Okay, who's the comedian? Haven't fucked with you in a while. Figured this would go nicely with your Rose and Space Feminist figures. This is fun. I was torn between this and a bag of dicks. Pretty sure you already got enough of those. For the lulls from Swoop. This is going directly to that Star Wars girl. <laughs> now I gotta go get her P.O. box and I'm gonna send her all of these shitty Star Wars figures. And then when she yells at me, I'll tell her it was from you, Swoop. And I figured, okay, an ornament, cool beans. But it appears to be a whole bunch of stuff. And I should have told her off the trot, I don't have a Christmas tree. I haven't had a Christmas tree since I was a child. These, or could these be worth something? Probably not. Cause it's like Disney owned, but it's an Obi-Wan Kenobi. Is this actually like an ornament you put in a tree? It is. It looks nice on the box. In fact, it looks too nice. Like if you dropped it, wouldn't it break? 
And they're all packed, like, look at this packaging. That's like somebody who cares. Whoa, a Death Star tree topper. <laughs> God damn it, you know, some things never change, even though like I hate what Star Wars has become. For some reason, something inside of me was like, this is cool. I mean, it is. Truth be told, if I had a Christmas tree, thank you, Fluffy. If I had a Christmas tree, I would use this without a shadow of a doubt. I would put this on a tree, no questions asked. Does it light up? Remote control included. And it's Darth Vader's lightsaber. Which version is that? It's hard to tell due to the scale in the picture. This looks like it's, it would have to be an Empire Strikes Back one. No, it has to be A&H, because the Death Star is completed in A&H, so this has to be the A&H lightsaber. I should seriously get an A&H Darth Vader lightsaber now that I think about it. But finding an accurate one, ain't nobody got time for that. This is actually sweet of you to uh, send me these, like a Luke Skywalker one, we got, though they gotta have Vader. There's no way you, ah, uh, no Vader, what? Like you have C-3PO and R2-D2. Yeah, this is A&H. Totally, A New Hope, it says so right on there. It says so right here, New Hope Collection, I'm blind. I'm stupid. Ah, no Vader. Maybe this is Vader. There's no way you have Luke Skywalker with a lightsaber, Obi-Wan, and no Vader. Ah! Keepsakes, power cord, damn it. Oh, that's too bad. Now, I'm gonna have to look to see if I can find the Darth Vader and Stormtroopers because obviously you'd need those for A and H. Han and Chewie, Leia. No, I need to stop. I don't wanna give Disney any money. Not after what they've done to Star Wars. I figured that there probably won't be any more packages to make it here before Christmas day. Supposedly there's gonna be one more, but I guess there's no sense in, you know, risking it showing up and not being at the post office or something. And it's nothing you care too much about. It's just paint related stuff. So I decided to get Fluffy something. And rather than wait for Christmas day, which is when this video will be out and I don't want to sit and edit videos on Christmas. Oh, she opened the box herself. <laughs> oh, Merry Christmas, Fluffy. <laughs> I really didn't expect that. I'm impressed, honestly, Fluffy. I have to admit. What'd you find, little fluff? Oh, uh, just look at it get snout deep. All right, let's see, we got a little, oh, crap. There we go. We got a little snowman for you. And he squeaks, Fluffy. Look. Merry Christmas, Fluff. It's something small you can kill. You love that. Hold on. Why do they always add these things and they make them so tough? Yeah, you quit wiggling around. I wouldn't have stabbed myself twice. Well, that's for you, Fluffy. Wee Christmas. Wait, Fluffy, you're not done. We've got Red Ford training treats. What, no zip bag? What the? F All right, Fluffy. Time to train you with a treat. Where'd she go? can't even see anymore. Fluffy! <whistles> Fluffy. Come here, little Fluff. Well, you can't train her if she don't like the treats, so... There you go, there's that. Did I just throw it behind me and it literally hit the chair? We have the beauty stick. Why is it called a beauty stick? <laughs> oh, smelly, smelly. Oh, licky, licky. Yep, no? Okay. Beauty sticks have failed. She likes a snowman. What's this? I forgot to write Fluffy's name on it. Oh, these look nice. Ho, 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 Fluffy. Saint Nick Snack. This is sad. I'm doing an unboxing Christmas video for my dog. And the dog isn't even here for it.
How about this one, Fluff? No! Oh, jeez. I just got so fucking ill. Look out, it's the Green Mint Kit Kats. These are surprisingly good, actually. I don't know why I like them. This, white carito? Car, carinto. I think it's what, it, what it's called. I'm trying to figure out how to read it in a Japanese way. And let's have one. I wonder if this is human or dog. Definitely human. You know what? This is fucking sweet, dude. It's like... It's like a Kellogg's cornflake shaped like a dick. I don't know what this one is, but I'm pretty sure it's a chip of some sort. What do you do, Jerry? Do you go to like the store and you go, give me anything that would shock a foreigner? And they go, ah, Deska. Oh, what's this one? Okay, it's got a peanut on it. Wait, are these peanuts? Are they some form of peanut? Is that it? I mean, it's actually good. You eat a couple and you're like, at first you're kind of like, whoa, what the hell is this? Then before you know it, you're eating like three of them. Oh, fuck snacks. Ho, 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 ho. Daddy's favorite, squid bits. Roasted dried squid, yum, yum. Well, I guess I could have one. Get out of here, these are my squids. You're not getting any of my squid. Fuck off. Good Lord. Hey. Okay, this one's hardcore. This one, you can taste the squid. And all of its squidliness. This, oh, it's tough as hell too. It's like you're fighting it. It's how tough a squid is. Even when it's dead, it won't let you have it as an easy meal. <laughs> oh, dude. Get here, fuck. Ah. Dude, you gotta fight this one. Ah, this guy's a fighter. All right, I guess you can have some squid. I had to look it up, Fluffy. Get up here. You want your squid bits or not? Whoa, what the fuck? Do you mind? That was my finger. Jesus Christ. You got more hardcore squid bits. What's this? Uh, this chewing kombu. This is must be some sort of uh, plant. I'm gonna assume seaweed. I gave the dog squid bits. She immediately ran and has some water. Yeah, that squid bit does dry out. Oh, ho, ho, look at this. Let's see how good this one is. Now, this is what I call a Christmas, dude. Eating dead fish. <laughs> There's probably like people who are having this amazing Christmas dinner and they're like, what the hell is he eating? Mm. Interesting. Well, calm it down, Fluff. All right, this one. I like. This one I like. They gave you this one flavor. It's very chewy. I want you to see how good the squid bit is. You know the squid bit is good because Fluffy is trying to get it at all costs. <laughs> I'm eating food fit for a dog. <laughs> This how you know it's good. Fuck, dude, I bit myself. Whoa. The dog bit me trying to get it. I bit myself trying to get it. This is good stuff.
Jerry, you're doing the Lord's work over there in Japan, dude. You're like keeping me alive. My main source of nourishment is snacks from Japan. Ah, strawberry Kit Kat. Special five blend. I don't think it's beer. What is this? Is it like coffee? I don't really drink coffee. Maybe we could like look it up on the phone. Yeah, I know you want more squid bits. So do I, but we have to focus. The rainbow version is $150 on eBay. Jesus Christ. Sit down, you. Napa, Japan. What, is there a site I can order this from? Uh, okay, it is coffee. How do you drink it? Uh, limited edition release of five coffee beans from around the world to create a satisfying drink. Cream and sugar is added at already added. Shake first and open and enjoy the delicious, convenient coffee drink. Hot or cold? To heat, put entire can in pot of hot water, not boiling, for about three minutes. Canned coffee is a huge market in Japan, with many flavor variations and colorful designs. Well, fuck it, I'll try it. I don't really drink coffee, but... What the hell, why not? Special edition coffee. That means it's special. You don't recognize it because you're a dog, but this is the all-in-one treats that you love. These are like the only treats I've ever seen Fluffy eat with reckless abandon. Yum, yum. Yes, yes. Oh, what a Christmas, Fluffy. What a Christmas. It's a special dog treats from Japan. Fit for a dog that's been pampered her whole life. These are the only treats she responds to. God bless you, Jerry, you magnificent bastard. These are the treats of kings. What's this? Kaldi. Oh, it's got a shrimp on it. So that means it's shrimp flavored. Or maybe it's got shrimp bits in it. I might want to save this one. Because I'm 100% sure it's delicious. No, you had your treats. Get out of here. Oh, Fluffy. <laughs> Fluffy. Damn it. Get out of here. Shoot. Dude, I'm telling you. The other added bonus to these seaweed snacks, you really got to chew them. When you chew something this much, it's totally work out for your jaw bone and stuff. It'll give you that Chad jawline. It's a method to the mayhem. Rats. Hmm. Must be some sort of peanut. Wait, I think you have it with a beer. I don't really drink beer, to be honest. I haven't drank beer in a long time. Maybe I should. Break up the whiskey. Oh, bro. These Japanese snacks right here. I don't know what they're called because it's all in Japanese. Delicious. Um, taco chips I think like Doritos a Japanese version that's what I love about Japan you even have a stereotypical character in the corner and nobody bats an eye I think we got more candy oh yum this stuff is good and hey it's also got some uh demon slayer on it this must be white chocolate which means it's probably sweet as hell oh dude I already finished off the last box of these while I was building the new Gundam Oh, this guy knows how to send treats. Dude, I have stuff to eat for days. And there's two Asian guys on this. Creepy nuts. It must be music. Oh. Jerry, fantastic. The octopus bits. Delicious. Oh, you know, I gotta have one of these. I should wash my hands first. I had to grab the dog, so I'll wait. What is this? More odd squid bits. I'm fine with this, man. I'm gonna fucking play like Ghost of Tsushima and eat this. Or is it Ghost of Tsushima? 
dude, Jerry's a legend. More squid bits, more jerky. We're living large. This is Christmas, dude. Thank you, Jerry. Now this is the way to end the Christmas video with enough delicious snacks to hold me over at least a month. Shellfish, other fish, whatever fish you can get your hands on, you know? Let's end with some positives. Yum, yum, fluffy. It's Christmas. God, that light source sucks. I love you, Fluffy. You're a good dog. Oh, she's like, oh, no more treats? Well, I'm done with you. See, I like Fluffy. She's very honest. There's no lies with Fluffy. I know how she feels about me. She's like, you've outlived your usefulness, mammal. Well, anyway, Merry Christmas to you. Or Happy Holidays, Hanukkah. I don't know if anybody who celebrates Kwanzaa watches me. Does anybody even celebrate Kwanzaa anymore? Like, I heard a lot about it in the 90s, but now it's kind of like falling off. But whatever, you know. Um, whatever you choose to worship or nothing. Festivus for the rest of us. Atheism, whatever works. Glad you were here for this. And I'm happy to uh, share all-in-one dog treats with you. The best dog snack for your very picky small white dog. In my squid... <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> In my moment of hunger and scarfing down Japanese treats, because apparently I forgot to eat today, I missed one more package. <clears throat> and this one's from a lovely lady. Egg Now Brew. Is this a dog toy? Happy Holidays plush dog toy with dog face. Eggnog Brew. Does it smell like eggnogs? Can dogs pick up on that? Let me smell. I don't, know. I don't think that's what ate. No, you can tell a woman sent this, sent this, I can smell it. <laughs> it's like, oh yes, I can smell you, madam. I hope you don't mind my heightened sense of smell. Well, Fluffy, this is for you. Look, Fluffy. Okay, Fluffy, don't give a shit. She'll cure in a bit. Okay, no egg, no. How about this one, eh? Oh, ooh. Pet toys, oh. Thank you, Tanya, for the... Oh, now don't bother with the cat. Let me cut this off and then you can have the rabbit and kill it. Remember, always cut away from the dog. Ho, ho, ho. It's your favorite thing to attack, rabbits. You hate rabbits. Oh, this is a loud one, Fluffy. Get it, Fluffy. Get it. Kill it. Kill it, Fluffy. You're a murderer. You're killing machine. No, Fluffy, I said get the rabbit. The rabbit, you fool. All right, here. Kill that rabbit with extreme prejudice. Fluffy, come back, you have another gift. Come on, Fluffy. You're gonna miss it. Wait, this is it for Fluffy. Uh, let's see, Relaski Mask, Lavender Mitt, Rejuvenate. Microwave for soothing moist heat or chill for cooling. Truth be told, it's not very masculine and I'm working on a more masculine image for the ladies. No, oh, let's, oh wow. That's for me, you silly. What side is the side that goes on my face? I think it would be the soft side, right? No, no, this is for me. This is for me. You have to have a small head for this. I think this is made for women. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is way too small for me. Oh, I'm like, it's like pushing into my eye sockets. Whoa, got you there, Fluff. Fluffy, please, darling. Fluffy. Thank you, dear. Let's see what we got here. Let me see. Uh, these could be cat toys. Oh, that's sweet of you to send these, but uh, Smokey doesn't play with toys, unfortunately. He's very old. Like, Smokey is uh, way over 100 years old. He's a very old cat. What? I'm out of battery power. Shit. All right, Fluffy, we got to hurry. Oh, oh, a V for Vendetta mask. Oh, I, could, I don't have a Christmas tree. <laughs> Does this say Avengers? Why does it say Avengers? And it has V for Vendetta. 
Who the hell is that? That's Avatar The Last Airbender. Oh, this is something from China. That is fucking funny. Okay, that was hilarious. I guess that's that for the bag. There's a letter, or a card, I should say. I'm gonna try and read this as quickly as possible, so do forgive me. Uh, Merry Christmas, it's a Gundam. Uh, dear, it's a Gundam. Wishing you all the joys of the season, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year. Oh, I forgot about the New Year. Uh, I can't read the last part. It's a little hard to read your writing. I hope you don't mind me saying that. Uh, warrants? Regards? Warmest regards, that's what it says. Tanya, oh, thank you, Tanya. I will keep this with the other messages I have collected over the years, because one day I'll probably put them in a frame because let's face it, I won't be doing this forever. I think YouTube will either ban me or someone will kill me. <laughs> Who the hell knows? You know, life is short. Well, that's it for us this time for real. Thank you for all the gifts and Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to everybody for the second time. Let's go eat some squids, Fluff. <laughs>